Hi, I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet, and uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about our piano disc installation. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and I thought I might as well review. Uh, a lot of people like to see exactly what goes into these installs. Um, one thing that's really important about uh, how we perform these installations is that we remove the key bed from the piano. A lot of people don't do that. They'll perform this work, this surgery, with this part of the piano, which is the key bed, the keys actually sit on this part and uh, what happens is that when you are performing the surgery to the piano to accommodate these solenoids in order for the piano to play by itself you really cannot make a cut like this to this accuracy because when the, this piece is up on the piano just imagine if you had a cut first of all how are you going to cut it and it be so straight the only way you could do it is with a handsaw and what would happen is it get very very sloppy and then when you put the um, solenoids in, there's a chance that they may not meet up exactly where they should meet up in order for the keys to play like they should. Sometimes maybe one solenoid would hit two notes and uh, it's really hard to fix that. So a lot of times people would maybe bend these over, which is really not the thing to do. So you really want to perform this uh, installation with the key bed off of the piano. Now, um, you do a couple of things here that um, that is not known or written in the uh, installation manual. And one of the things is, is in, and I've had people call me and actually make a complaint because if you have to service this, um, uh, these solenoids are in, uh, there's a metal pan underneath this, uh, this key bed and all these solenoids are mounted to that. So when you unscrew the metal pan, it'll drop out, okay? But now all these wires, the camera comes along here, come over here and I can explain what we do here, all these wires here that goes to these solenoids, if you notice, they're screwed into the back of the key bed here, okay? Because when, when this is attached to the piano, um, if they weren't screwed in, they'd be all like out, like tangled and sloppy and all that. And I really didn't like the way that looked. And I was always concerned that it might, the wires might get tangle with the solenoid or something so I bunch them together and I screw them to the inside of the key bed the problem with this though is that if you go to uh, lower the, this whole uh, assembly of and the pianos together and horizontal it's you would think it would be very difficult to detach these wires from the wood but if you notice here every one of these wires is screwed in opposite a solenoid that's in the front because when this key bed is on the piano, these back solenoids are under here. These are the under levers for the dampers, okay? And you can't get to them. You wouldn't be able to pull these out, the rear ones, okay? So if this, if this was located over here, behind this solenoid, you wouldn't be able to take it out. So if you notice, every one of these uh, screws that holds the wires in is behind the solenoid that is in the front. So if you had to uh, detach these to remove the pan for service, all you would have to do is just uh, take your screwdriver, remove the solenoids, take your screwdriver in there, and then um, you have access to take it out. Now, uh, I have this all set up right now to do a test. Uh, and every time I, I do a step with this thing, you know, wire something, you know, put, put some tape in, whatever, I always test it to make sure because the last thing I want to do is put this piano together and then be something wrong, like for instance, one solenoid not working, one driver board not working, you know, whatever, something like that. So, um, just to review all the parts that we have here that, that make the, uh, the system work, is that this is the uh, piano disc power supply. This is a solid state. This is a new design that they just came out with a few months ago. Uh, this is the Piano Disc Prodigy uh, CPU. That's the, also a new design that plays the piano through Bluetooth wireless. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. This is the power supply for the um, CPU, and then we have a power strip. This wire here is for the pedal solenoid. This is the pedal solenoid right here. So what we're going to do right now is going to turn it on so, so we can do our test. And one thing you want to look at is uh, very important that each one of these driver boards, this is a driver board here, this is a driver board, this is a driver board. There are three driver boards. Each one has a green light. If any of these lights are flashing, it means that uh, it's defective or bad and you got to take it out. So you notice they're all on. So we're going to do a test now. The one thing that we want to know, we want to look at when we do a test is we want to make sure that each of the solenoids fires and they're all in the right order. <laughs> it's not like uh, this one fires, then this one, then this one, or anything like that. They always have to be all in the exact order 
uh, from beginning to end. So we press the test button here, and then you'll start seeing them fire one by one. And this tells me that this piano is just about ready to be assembled, making sure that all of these fire, none of them are st st stay up and are stuck, or one of them is not working, but you see they're all in order. Okay, and the last one is going to be the pedal solenoid, which you'll see here. We've got to push this in, and that fires. Now, you may wonder why there's a space here, okay? The reason why there's a space here is because on the piano you have a space. See the space here? Space here, space here. So these spaces correspond to the spaces that you see in the solenoids, okay? So I'm going to press the test button and turn it off. The next step that we're going to do right away here is we're going to put, we're going to take the key, keyboard here, we're going to put it on the key bed and make sure that everything lines up and uh, we're also going to do another step that the piano disc doesn't have in their manual that I do, that a lot of people, other people don't do, but you'd be interested to know that uh, it's uh, pretty important that it does get done. Because the one thing that we try to do is we try to return the piano uh, back to its um, natural state as if there was no electronics in it. One of the things that I noticed, and I'm going to put this keyboard back on the keypad here. Ta da! Okay, so. So, what we're going to do is we're going to line this up to where it's supposed to go, as if it was in the piano. You notice we have marks here that we made with pencil, and we know that's where it's supposed to be exactly. Okay, make sure. All right. Now, one of the things that we do, that we've already done, but uh, is that we also make sure, if you look at the camera here, each one of these solenoids has to be exactly underneath every note, see? And we make sure there's no solenoid that's hitting two notes at once. Uh, incidentally, this is something you can't do if the piano is fully assembled and you do this uh, installation with the piano uh, all together with the keypad on it. Now, these are the parts of the piano that come off from underneath uh, in order to do, in order to install these solenoids. Some of the stuff we don't use anymore. We do use, this is for the soft pedal, we do use that. These are the wire supports for the pedals, supports. This is for the uh, sustenuto, which I delete the sustenuto, you never use it. And uh, to return the sustenuto function to a piano with a piano disc on it, uh, I don't do it because uh, it's a lot of hardware to put on. and the sustenuto is never used. And what happens is that uh, uh, in, when you have that extra hardware, you have more stuff to remove if you have to service it. It's in the way, it's noisy, sometimes it, 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 it's just not necessary. So, but some things that are necessary more than the sustenuto. These little stops here, okay, you notice these? These were in the, put in the piano at the factory, and what they do is um, they're put in the piano inside here, and they actually go usually around this area here, if the, if the original wood was here. Now what they do is that uh, they stop, if you take the action out of the piano to work on it and push it back in, um, if you didn't have these in here, the action would just be pushed all the way in. We wouldn't know where, where to stop, okay? And so uh, that's the way a lot of people do their installations. But because we have the key bed out, we can put back two of these, which is all you really need, okay? So if you notice, there's four of them. Two have screws in the front and two don't, okay? We discard, we discard the ones that don't have any screws, but we keep these. And the reason why is that I put one over here. Oh, that's my phone. Okay, one here, and then one here. And what that does is now when you, when you push the action back in the piano, it knows exactly when to stop. And then there's also these screws here. If you want it to go in a little further, you tighten the screw, and then uh, the, um, the keyframe would go further back in. Or you, if, you, if you want it to not to go so far, then you loosen it and back it off. And so that's going to go right there. So we're going to put those in right now. I'll show you how we do that. I have this little tool I made here. This is 
going to go here like this. So know exactly where it goes. Also, you have to realize, and then you do the other one, but just to, to save time here, we'll just talk about this one here since it's installed. The other thing too is, is that when this piano is on its side and it's going through transportation, um, there's a lot of times where the piano might go this way, it might go that way on the truck, you know, and just imagine if this wasn't here, you see how it has a lip and it holds it in? Well, there is a possibility that, you know, if the piano is tilted this way when it's being transported like this, that if there's nothing holding this down like it's supposed to be, it's going to move, you know, and that doesn't really mean much because we really never had any damage because of it, but why have something move when it doesn't need to? So when the uh, key, when the action is pushed into the piano, when the piano is assembled, boom, it knows exactly where to go. And then we put the other one on the other side. Go. Okay, so now we're going to install the key bed. We're going to make the key bed to the piano. If you notice, I put the blocks here and they're all done already. Also, another little thing that we do here, especially with the piano out, if the camera come over, um, in order to send the wires from the solenoids out to the rest of the piano, piano just would have you make it just a, a round hole in here, okay? But I don't do that. This is exactly the way the Yamaha designs the disc clavier. They make a notch here in the uh, belly. I don't know what they call this piece of wood here, but uh, they make a notch like this in it using a router. So I, I did that over here. This is the cable because this has got a silent uh, bar in it that I installed. So that's going to go out this way. And all the wires from the solenoids are going to go out this way. So when we make the key bed back to the piano, we have to make sure that, that the wire is clear. So we got, uh, this is uh, Mario. Mario is our piano desk, disc installer. Mario actually does all the modifications to the piano itself. And then I get it here and then I assemble the piano. But he's gonna help me put the uh, key bed on right now. I know that's kind of traumatizing seeing the piano get whacked like that, but there's no other way to do it and it doesn't uh, harm anything on the piano. So if they get the camera to come around, and so you can see the way it looks from that aspect now that it's all put together. Now if you see uh, when the keys go in, they're all going to match up, and there are our blocks that we installed on the workbench. You see when this key keyboard slides in, it's going to stop exactly where it's supposed to be according to the marks that, that Mario made when the piano was originally disassembled. Also if you see here, Remember we were talking about the screws, okay? Um, see, you would not be able to remove these rear solenoids, as I said, because they would hit here. You could remove the front ones. And every place where the wires are connected to the wood of the piano, it's right in a space here, or behind, uh, a f you, if you remove a front solenoid, which comes out, you can get a screwdriver back there to disconnect it. So anyway, so that ends our video on uh, the key bed being uh, reassembled to the piano with the piano disc solenoids in it. And incidentally, here's the upside down view. This is, if you ever have to service the piano when it's set up, um, you wouldn't have to take this whole piano apart. You would just unscrew these. And uh, well, first you would unscrew the, the wires that are connected to the, uh, to the key bed inside. And then you would unscrew here. And then this would just drop down and then you would be able to service it. I make it sound a lot more easy than it is. It's not anything that you really want to have to do. It's kind of a pain in the neck. So anyway, that's a little bit of technical information for you today on the piano the system and what we do here at Piano Outlet. And uh, again, if you have any questions about the system, feel free whether you want to buy a piano or you don't want to buy a piano or you want a system or you don't want a system. If you have a system and you want to know how to fix it, if you ever have any questions, always feel free to give us a call. 954-803-3319, and I'm Russell. Thank you.